In this video, we are going to draw the complete E2 mechanism. So there are a few other videos on um, regioselectivity, stereospecificity, and stereoselectivity that are super important when you're um, completing an E2 mechanism. So I would recommend that you go back and watch all of those before you watch this video. So in general, the E2 mechanism requires three carefully placed arrows in a concerted process. So all three things are going to happen at one time. The core steps that, like I said, happen at the same time are a proton transfer and the loss of a leaving group. But like I said, you need to be careful for specifically stereospecificity, but also regiochemistry and stereoselectivity. This is a super simple example because all of these methyls have three beta hydrogens that we can choose from. Um, and it doesn't matter which one you choose because they will all bring about the same product. So we can see here that the base, sodium ethoxide, is going to grab that beta hydrogen. It is going to donate its electrons back to the sigma bond, and that is going to kick out this leaving group. And so it's super important that you draw all of the arrows correctly going from where the electrons are going to. And then also it's important to write out the steps that you're doing. So the two steps in this is a proton transfer and the loss of a leaving group. So it's always important to write those out. And in this case, there are no charges, but that's also something that you always need to write. So for this one, we're going to do um, practice. So go ahead and pause the video and draw out a detailed mechanism for the E2 reaction. All right, so this one is pretty simple as well because there's one beta carbon that has two options for the hydrogens. Um, so you have tert butoxide here, and that is going to grab this beta hydrogen, and that's going to donate its electrons back to the sigma bond, which would kick out the bromine, and you only have one product in this case. But remember with um, regioselectivity, this is a large base, so in some cases, you would get a major product and a minor product. And because this is a large base, you would get the Hoffman um, regiochemical product for this one. And that would be the major one. But in this case, you only really have one option to choose from. I hope you found this video to be really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter what Organic Chemistry 1 class you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson Building. You will find all the details you need about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu. tutoring You may schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our open business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thank you.